students, I Dr. Shweta Mishra, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce and Management, Biyani Group of Colleges welcomes you all on behalf of GuruKPO.com. The topic which I am going to discuss today is Decision Making Under Uncertainty. Now, the question which we are going to discuss today is based on these particular criteria. The question is, a pay of matrix is given to you that shows demand from 13 to 15 cases a day. Here, the demand is given to us and here the stock level. Using Maximax criteria, Maximin criteria, Harvard's criteria, Laplace criteria and Minimax regret criteria, we have to calculate that as per each and every criteria, how much quantity a decision making decision maker would choose to stock in its stock level. Now starting with the first maxi max criteria. Now as the name suggests maxi max. So we are first going to select the maximum entry from among the stock levels that is given to us. So maximum here the maximum value given to is 39 here the maximum value is 42 and here the maximum value is 45 now from these maximum values we have again select the maximum value from amongst these maximum values now from 39 42 and 45 the maximum value is 45 so as per maxi max criteria the decision maker would select 15 stock level to be stocked in order to gain the maximum profit of 45 rupees now moving on to the next criteria that is maximum criteria here as the name suggests we first have to focus on the minimum entry and afterwards selecting the minimum entry we have to select the maximum entry from the minimum entry levels so now minimum minimum is 39 or only here the minimum value is 37 and here the minimum value is 35 so amongst these minimum value we have to select the maximum value that is 39 so again as per maximum criteria the decision maker will choose to select 13 stock level in order to maximize its profit of 39 rupees now as per Hajbis criteria uh, the formula which we are going to discuss is Again, moving on to the next that is Hurwitz criteria. The formula for Hurwitz criteria is maximum payoff into alpha plus minimum payoff into 1 minus, min, 1 minus alpha. Alpha is the degree of optimism which is always given in the question that is here in this question the degree of optimism given to us is 0 0.7. So here the maximum value for 13 stock level is 39 into 0 0.7 plus the minimum value is 39 1 minus 0.7 is 0 0.3 it comes to 39 now for 14 stock level the maximum value is 42 plus minimum value is 37 it comes to 40.5 and again for 15 stock level the maximum value is 45 and the minimum value is 39 35 and it comes to 42 now the maximum value from amongst this is 42. So as per Hurwitz criteria, the decision maker would like to stock 15 stock level in order to maximize this profit of 42 rupees. Now, now moving on to the next is Laplace criteria. Here in Laplace criteria, we have to assign equal weights to the number of entries that is given to us. Here the stock level given to us is 3, that is 13, 14 and 15 and the maximum weight according to the question is 1 by 3. So in order to calculate Laplace criteria for 13 stock level, it's 1 by 3 into 39 plus 1 by 3 into 39 plus 1 by 3 into 39 that is 39. Now for 14 stock level is equal weight assigned to each and every aspect is 1 by 3 into 37 plus 1 by 3 into 42 plus 1 by 3 into 42 that is 40.3. Now next for 15 stock level is 1 by 3 into 35 plus 1 by 3 into 40 plus 1 by 3 into 45 it comes to 40 so again after calculating the values the stockholder or the decision maker would like to maximize its profit here it comes to 40.30 pesa so a stockholder would like to stock 14 units in its stock level as per laplace criteria now moving on to the next that is minimax regret criteria we have to make a regret table 
Now, in order to frame regret table, we have to subtract the least, we have to subtract the maximum entry from the least entries in the respective rows. Now, 39 is minus 39. 0, 39 minus 37 it comes to 2 and 39 minus 35 comes to 4. Now moving on to the same step in the next row, the maximum entry is 42, 42 minus 39 is 3, 42 minus 42 is 0 and 42 minus 40 is 2. Now repeating the same step here, the maximum entry is 45, 45 minus 39 is 6. 45 minus 42 is 3 and 45 minus 45 is 0. Now after framing the regret table as is mentioned in the question regret table we have already created. Now from regret we have to select the maximum entry level. Now the maximum point from 13, 14 and 15 stock level the maximum is 6 here it is 3 and here it is 4. Now from maximum regret we have to select the minimum regret that is 3. So, a decision maker would always like to minimize its loss as such we have created the regret table. So, for if the stockholder or the decision maker would stock 14 stock level then he is going to minimize his loss of 3 rupees. So, as per minimax regret criteria decision maker would like to stock 14 units in its stock level. So, this is for all now. For more informational video, please like, comment and don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel gurukpo.com. Thank you.